Hey Jack, in this lesson, what are we gonna draw? A candle. A Christmas candle. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. We've got a marker. Some paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, let's first draw a bow down here at the bottom of our paper. I'm gonna draw a kind of a knot, a circle. And then I'm gonna draw two lines coming out. I'm gonna draw one coming out of the top and one coming out of the bottom. Diagonal lines. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Good. I love how big your bow is gonna be. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna draw a curve that comes down like this and connects the top down to the bottom. Awesome. We can also add two little wrinkles coming out of the knot on the left and also on the right side. Now let's draw the ends of the bow coming out. So we're gonna, I'm gonna draw these uh, one coming out to the knot and one coming back down and they're really diagonal and they're extremely diagonal coming out to the extreme. side extreme extreme <laughs> <laughs> And now I'm gonna draw these a little bit longer and I'm gonna draw two shorter ones coming out of each side up here closer to the bow Then I'm gonna connect the top down to the bottom with a sideways V All right, now let's draw some pine needles behind our bow. Cool. So I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that's gonna go like this. I'm gonna just draw a zigzag line coming out of the left and also out of the right. Now we're, we wanna imagine these zigzags or the pine needles coming behind the bow and then coming over here and connecting to the other side. There we go. Good job. Now, we're gonna draw the candle coming out of these pine needles. So we're gonna finish this a little bit later, but let's draw the candle next. I'm gonna draw two lines coming straight up. Then, up here at the top, let's connect both sides with an oval to make the candle look 3D and round. Next, let's draw the wick coming out of the top of our candle. Then let's draw the flame on our candle. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up. Look at that, it's like an S yeah. curve. When we're all done, it's gonna look like a raindrop. We're gonna come back down on the other side and connect it. Oh yes. I love it, that's awesome. Now let's draw the rest of the pine needles. And I'm gonna start right here up on the side of our candle. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna come all the way around like this underneath our little bow. Kind of looks like a C shape. Yeah. Like a fluffy C. A fluffy C. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Repeat that same step and connect it over here on the side of the bow. It looks like a wreath that's actually laying down on the table and then you put the candle inside. And I love that you connected right oh, there yeah. because that's the next step. <laughs> Just like we did on the top part. I'm gonna imagine the pine needles or the zigzags going behind the bow and then coming out in between and connecting to the other side. We did it, Jack, yeah. you did a great job. It looks so cool that we're not completely done, right? Yes. What do we still need to do? Color it. Color it. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. Great job on coloring your candle, man. It looks really cool colored in. Yeah. And we added a lot of shading. You can leave the shading off to keep this lesson a little easier, but we made it darker down here at the bottom of the candle and also on the edges and then got lighter towards the center and also the top because that's where the light is. We also added shading around the bow to make it look more 3D. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Christmas candle. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.